Wait, 19 Easter eggs hidden by angry devs. Easter egg ruining someone's life to a secret message roasting EA. These are 19 Easter eggs hidden by devs. In Saints Row 4, there's a clothing store called Let's Pretend, but this seemingly normal place is hiding a hilarious secret. In the back, there's a door that says employees only, and if you shoot it a few times, it'll open up, leading you to a secret basement with a shooting range. It is full of developers' faces, including this guy who is pregnant with himself. And in Halo 3 OD, ST, there's an easter egg that only appears when you're on legendary difficulty this is old it. is this whole video old i mean okay that that one trick is old. the access denied screen at kikawani station and parkour across these beams you'll eventually reach this guy trying to fight you it turns out that this is actually martin o'donnell the composer of the halo games and he either wants to fight or he's just terrible at dancing there's even a secret in madden 12 hiding in the main menu of the game start an exhibition match go to the team select screen and just <laughs> keep spamming the random button eventually an exclusive team will appear with John Madden's face called the developers and if you play with them it's exactly what you'd expect a full football team of devs and every single person has maxed out stats but one of the best messages left by a developer is in GTA Vice City stories a few hours into the game a ship appears across the street from your apartment and if you go into the water you can use a camera glitch to look inside for anyone who found this when it first released the note said nothing to see here and it was actually updated when Vice City stories was ported to PS2 in this version the note now says I wasn't joking there really is nothing to see here but go and look at the VCN building instead and this is where it gets incredible as you can jump through a secret wall to find this it's a crane building something on a pedestal making this the official prequel to the famous Vice City Easter egg but I think Fortnite might have an even more touching secret with the release of Indiana Jones people were so distracted by all the references that the community missed a huge Easter egg if you went into replay mode you could see under Indy's hat and find a message that says Liam and Finn love dad I really wish we knew the whole story behind this, but it's since been removed and remains a mystery to this day. Unlike this disturbing what secret the? in Serious Sam 3, which only appears once in game. During the Dark Bride mission, you can jump through a small window and make your way to a hidden location called the Hall of Developers. It sounds innocent until the creepiest NPCs walk around the corner, revealing themselves as the devs of the game. For some reason, they have huge heart-shaped heads and their brains are out on display. Not to mention the fact that they're constantly trying to surround you. But one of my favorite easter eggs can be found in assassin's creed odyssey where the developers roasted ea in the funniest way if you talk to an npc called the pre-trial master he'll ask you to find his sons in exchange for a trial token your character then wonders if they can just buy the token instead to which the guy replies Do you want to pay to win where's your sense of pride and accomplishment this is a direct jab at ea who made battlefront 2 pay to win and in their apology post they even said the intent is to provide players with a sense of pride and accomplishment for unlocking different heroes which actually became the most downvoted comment in Reddit oh. history. And while we're talking about NPCs, in Telltale's The Walking Dead, there's a crazy amount of dialogue and choices. But if you try to abuse this and keep asking Kenny the same question, you'll find a ridiculous secret. During episode five, Kenny will tell you not to ask him how he's doing. But for those who do keep asking, this'll happen. Andy Tudor, good man, damn fine man, powerful stash. Turns out that Randy Tudor was actually the lead programmer at Telltale and added this as a funny little joke. And if you're wondering what the saddest Easter egg of all time is, this secret message in Spider-Man might hold the title. Before it came out, a fan asked Insomniac if they could put Maddie, Will You Marry Me in game to propose to his girlfriend of five years. And they actually agreed to it. So on release day, you could jump in and find a theater marquee that included his proposal and everybody held their breath waiting to see what would happen. But in the background, this Easter egg had secretly turned sour. It was revealed that Tyler had broken up with his girlfriend before Spider-Man came out, and he claimed she cheated on him with his own brother. But a partnership that actually worked was between Rockstar and Remedy, who came together to make Max Payne. If you managed to parkour up to the roof of this parking lot, you could shoot a container revealing a secret door. And this led to a room with Rockstar graffiti that said thanks, along with a radio message for Remedy. Hello to everyone at Remedy. It's been a pleasure working uh, on this game, and uh, we're there for you, and we can't wait to see it come out. Now, I've seen devs thank players before, but never each other. Other. This one's so wholesome. But this next secret is the opposite of wholesome because Quake 2 is hiding one of the creepiest areas of all time. After activating tons of switches and doors, you'll eventually unlock a secret room which has headshots of people who worked on the game. But this is where things get really weird. You can actually interact with the photos and they'll play strange music, explode, or even puke body parts out of their mouths. It's not all bad though because the end of this corridor has a ladder that leads to this dungeon, referencing Jabba the Hutt's palace from Star Wars. Now there's
there's plenty of uplifting secrets in gaming, especially when it comes to Fallout 3. While you're traveling across the post-apocalyptic world, it's easy to feel miserable or lonely. But luckily, there's an abandoned radio tower that you can visit that has the perfect message for any Easter egg hunters in the area. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, well... Okay then. But that's just the start because even kids games have hidden dialogue that was never supposed to be found. Wallace and Gromit's Grand Adventures is a family friendly game where you'd work on fixing various problems with your different inventions. But when some players discovered unused voice lines for Wallace, let's just say he doesn't like when somebody eats the pie. You really ate all of these pies? You fat b <laughs> you your own Easter egg can backfire, especially when the dead decide to humiliate you. With the release of Far Cry 5, a player noticed that it was set in Montana and called out the devs saying that it didn't feel authentic enough. In order to solve this problem, he made a petition to get his dad in the game who could bring the true Montana experience. So when the game finally released, there was actually good news. The devs heard his plea and actually put James's dad inside of Far Cry. He had his very own Davenport farm, but Ubisoft wasn't done there. They decided to make it example out of James. Over at the barn, there's a note from Davenport's son where he admits to liking animals a little too much. And from a farm <laughs> in the swamp, CSGO hit an Easter egg that players were never meant to discover. Near the B-Sites crane, there's a small balcony overlooking the area. While it's usually impossible to get up here, you can actually no clip to see a hidden computer. Swamp is actually a community-made map, and the developer included a screenshot of him designing the area while talking to people on Twitter. And on the other screen, you can see him submitting it to a contest, and as as we know it actually won and speaking of appreciating the creator there's an amazing homage in metal gear survive that was left in by konami in the opening cutscene of the game you can see a clipboard with some code names and if you read out all of the initials it spells out kjp forever this is of course a tribute to the old kojima production team who worked on metal gear solid before the infamous breakup and that's not even the only time that you could spell out a shocking secret in dead space the developers spoil a huge plot twist by hiding it in plain sight throughout the story your love interest is nicole who got you from behind a screen and is a pretty important character and that's why it's insane that you can put together the first letter of every chapter and it spells out nicole is dead considering this is the grand reveal at the end of the game it would suck if anyone noticed this before they beat it and if you thought that was bad portal 2 has a hidden message that completely humiliates a youtuber when the turrets trailer released a string of numbers could be found in the background and if you decoded these it would spell out the message super dino man's mom duke nuka makes fun of anybody who accessed this unused area if you no clipped into the sewer, the walls would say, are you small or are you cheating? But it's still nothing compared to the funniest Easter egg in Doom 3 that nobody expected. You can find an arcade machine called Super Turbo Turkey Puncher, and it's literally just what the name says. But if you're some kind of sicko who sits there punching turkeys endlessly, you'll eventually get a high score. This is when an email appears mocking you for spending so much time on the game and docking two days from your vacation. And those were secret Easter eggs left in by developers. Huh. This has been Sammy. Keep it here Pretty on funny. T5G. That's pretty cool. From deleting your entire... Okay, okay, okay. That was a funny one. I like that one. I, that was crazy. Dude, how do people find those things, man? That's nuts. Your game to forcing you to play in your underwear? These are 15 games that humiliate you for cheating. If you're playing any game and find a way to cheat, you're likely going to try it out. But in this South Park game, the devs had completely prepared for it. There's a part of the game where you have to find a passcode to get into Cartman's secret basement. But if you Google the answer to cheat your way in, he'll appear and start roasting you for cheating. Okay, so I guess you just want to Tom Brady your way through the whole game? What's the matter? Can't do it on your own? And that's not the only time entering a simple code changed the game. Because in Banjo-Kazooie, they take punishing cheaters to a whole new level. Within the game, there's various codes you could use, from increasing items to opening entire areas early. Now, you might have wanted to use these cheats if you were stuck on a level. However, Gruntilda would only take so much. Doing it once or twice is fine, but dare to use it a third time, and bottles will appear warning you against cheating again. If you ignore the message, Gruntilda will appear and delete your entire save file. It kind of seems like a joke but the next time you try to save you watch as the game fades away with the witch's cackling laugh And if that wasn't enough, you even see the game over cutscene with Gruntilda celebrating your deleted save, and once you return to the menu, you'll even find all of your progress wiped. 
Starting all over again is a huge punishment, but what about not letting you play the game at all? If you try to cheat the devs by pirating this game, Mirror's Edge has a surprise waiting for you. The game loads up perfectly fine and seems normal until you realize you're moving incredibly slow, making it impossible to complete even the first jump. I gotta admit, this is such a clever way to mess with cheaters. And the creators of RuneScape took messing with a cheater even further. If anyone in the game was cheating, instead of banning them on the spot, the devs decided to make an entire event out of it. If the anti-cheat detects a player is hacked three times, you'd be sentenced to an island called Botany Bay. A crowd of other players are alerted and can even attend a trial for the cheater, with the bot finder general giving a hilarious speech. They strike me as exactly the kind of person who would use a bot to get what they want. Once he finishes up, all the players watching are then able to vote on the way the hacker will get banned. They give you three choices, ranging from being crushed, eaten, and even disintegrated by the gods. All of that in front of an entire server humiliating you for cheating before being permanently banned forever. You'll love to see it. And while hacking in RuneScape affects other players, even some single player games have their own special way of dealing with cheaters. In The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, you're able to enter shops to purchase items, but you can actually steal them instead. Once you pick up an item, if you head towards the door, you're warned against exiting without paying. But if you decide to leave stealing the item, the game will immediately shame you for it. Not only that, but from then on, your character is completely renamed to Thief. And every Every single interaction for the rest of the game will make you feel more and more guilty. And it doesn't stop there. After you ignored the first warning, you aren't given a second chance. If you return to the shop to buy something else, the shopkeeper will instead summon a bolt of lightning and straight up kill you. This same punishment even happened in the original, and I'm so happy the devs kept it in the remaster. And you're not allowed to cheat in Guild Wars either. It's an online game that punishes hackers publicly and makes a mini event. Oh, no shit. If a player was ever caught cheating or breaking the rules in any way, the Grim Reaper would suddenly emerge and right. execute them on the spot players would randomly see this unique event occur right in front of them causing so much hype in the chat whenever a hacker got that ban they deserve. Me. but the community isn't the, the only thing mocking cheaters sometimes even the in-game characters do it in metal gear solid there's a scene where ocelot is holding you hostage strapped to an electrical machine now you have to save snake by mashing a button as fast as you can to survive however some players might try to cheat their way through this by using a modded controller you can have the button auto fire and do all the pressing for you but the devs were already one step ahead because ocelot says this don't even think about using auto fire or i'll know and if you decide to ignore his warning you'll find out he wasn't lying the game will actually disregard all input from the modded controller allowing the machine to just straight up kill you now auto fire may seem like a simple cheat but it's nothing compared to a game shark in older games a game shark was used to add cheat codes to that. practically any game but the devs of donkey kong 64 made it so that if you tried to use a game shark while playing it would just glitch out uncontrollably from not being able to collect any items to instantly dying nothing was worse than dk constantly spamming the bongos every few seconds to make matters worse if you saved at any point while you had the game shark loaded the forced glitches would save with it literally breaking your game forever but sometimes the cheats are down to the game itself in the witcher 3 players were making the most out of a field where cows would constantly respawn to sell their leather and make money from it this basically created an infinite money glitch cd project red discovered the exploit and released a patch called the bovine defense force initiative making oh, the cows, a nearly all... killable enemy oh. spawn whenever you farm too many cows suddenly a short would begin running at you out of nowhere and you'd be forced to leave or fight this insanely op monster and later on in the game you can even find a tax man who asks you if you've been farming cows as a reference to this exploit have you at any time engaged in the wholesale trade of rawhide in the white orchard area but for a cheat that everyone knows, we gotta talk about the Konami code. The game company has added this into so many of their games over the years, leaving players oh, no. to try it out each time a new one releases. So when Silent Hill 3 came out, players who attempted to use the cheat code would instead be met with a much different result. After entering up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA, one of the main characters, Detective Douglas, will suddenly be wearing boxers for the rest of the game. Instead of humiliating you for attempting to cheat, the game creates this embarrassing scene every Every time you see it, this completely changes the entire context of every interaction. Heretic is a first person fantasy shooter that was built off the same engine as Doom, but that meant that it also carried over some of the most famous cheat codes. One of the most popular was IDK FA, which would usually instantly give the player all keys, armor, items, and more. But the devs over at Raven had already accounted for this. When you try to use these same cheat codes in Heretic, all of your weapons and ammo get wiped out and replaced with a single stick. And it gets even worse because 
because the game just straight up says you don't deserve weapons anymore. Bruh. From being told off for using hacks to a character dedicated to yelling at you, Animal Crossing is a game you'd never expect to have an NPC bust you for cheating. Sometimes <laughs> players would quit the game without saving to go back to a previous save undoing any mistakes they might have made. To prevent this, Nintendo created the character Resetti purely to lecture you about reverting the save. And each time you do it, he'll get more and more annoyed and his speeches will even get longer. But a mistake you won't be able to revert is cheating in the game Prey. During the treasure hunt side quest, there's a code you need to solve to unlock a special adventurer's toolkit. However, if you're lazy and decide to cheat by looking it up, you get a far worse reward. Arcane made it so that if you skip the puzzle, you'll get the Game Master Ayers instead, which would super debuff all of your items, ruining the rest of your playthrough. And wow. it's even more humiliating when you're exposed for cheating on your public profile. In the Superman's oh, Return man. game, if you decided to activate Not cheats that at super. any point, you would be granted with an Xbox achievement. Now, it sounds pretty great at first until you realize it gives you a zero gamer score with a description that says you needed a desperate plea for help. But the absolute worst part is that it stayed on there for all your friends to see. Max Payne 3 also decided to embarrass you by ending your cheating in public servers and moving you to a lobby full of only hackers. Instead of using cheats to have an easy time, you would just be put against other hackers completely trolling everyone in the lobby. This is actually such a 200 IQ move by the devs. Even games like Fall Guys have taken inspiration from this with their own cheater island. And the Stanley Parable even has something similar. If you ever attempt to use server cheats within the command console, you'll be locked away in the serious room and lectured all about cheating. And if you thought you could cheat your way out of there, you'll only find yourself in a more serious room. And GTA even has its own serious huh. room. If you're ever caught cheating or even being a bad sport, you'll be sent into a dunce lobby. Here you'll find a bunch of others who did the same, and you're humiliated with a permanent dunce hat glued to your head until you regain that freedom. Games like Undertale <laughs> also have their own special ending for cheaters. If you decided to use hacks to skip straight to the end credits, you would be greeted by Sans, who is confused how you got here and says that it must have been an error. He even tells you that the devs might have added a unique ending just for this situation. He then calls you a dirty hacker, tells you to get out of here, and from all the possible endings in the game, this has got to be one of my favorites. And that's 15 games that humiliate you for cheating. It's been Sammy. Keep it here on T5G. That's very interesting. This hacker it destroyed GTA. Years, Warzone has become one of the biggest games on the planet, and it's also been completely ruined by yeah. hackers. Call of Duty has always had a problem with cheaters, but it's never been as bad as this. For some reason, the devs never added an anti-cheat to the game, wild, and suddenly swarms of people appeared using aimbot, ESP, noclip, and it was just ridiculous. The but then somehow the hacks Sad. evolved oh, further. Oh shit! What? What? That's a hacker. That's a hacker, bro. Eventually, the devs were forced to add Ricochet to the game, but over a year after it came out. Luckily, the anti-cheat was pretty good, and instead of just banning aimbotters, it actually decided to troll them. They quickly realized that people were now shielded from their bullets, and everyone they shot at turned invisible, making the cheats completely useless. In a game with some of the most creative hackers is GTA V. Even though it's been eight years since release, it's full of cheats that nobody expects. There's the usual money bag dropping, aimbot, and then there's hacks like this. Cheaters even impersonated Rockstar Games and sent messages to everyone's phone with a GTA 6 announcement. It had people so hyped and it turned out to be completely it fake. And if you thought that was bad, there's the a battle royale off. that has a hacking problem which forced them to ban over a million players in a week and even arrest 15 people. PUBG has always had issues with cheaters, but it reached its absolute breaking point in 2022. And over on the oh, PC on, version, the Steam page has been review bombed because of how terrible the state of the game is. Now, luckily, the devs are taking this seriously and in 2022, 2018, Blue Hole had 15 cheaters arrested for developing hacks, and they were even fined five million dollars. Yeah. Ironic case. Hey, fuck those guys. Developing cheats suck my nuts. Of hacking happened just last if you month. Cheat, when yeah, man. Launch all good, was but... completely destroyed. No, the game was developing cheats. A huge suck it. About phone numbers before its release. Basically, since they made it free to play, Blizzard was scared hackers would swarm the game, so they forced players to verify accounts with a real phone number. This was a super strict system that only recognized certain carriers, and it actually locked out thousands of people. But the devs were so focused on blocking out cheaters, they didn't realize they were about to be hit by the biggest attack of the year. As the game released, people struggled to even get 
get into the main menu, being thrown into queues of over 40,000 people. We all assumed that this was just because so many players were trying to load in, but then the devs made a shocking announcement. The servers DDoS. were actually being targeted by hackers, DDoSing the entire game so that no one could play. People waited for hours in queue and were finally able to get in only to be kicked mid-match. All right. And even though it <laughs> took three days to fix its problems, there's a game that's still ruined by hackers to this very day. Friday the 13th has had a rough- Out of all the games to cheat in? Friday the 13th? few years dealing with glitches, delays, and even lawsuits. But one of its worst qualities is the amount of cheaters plaguing the game. Fans complain that almost every single match has at least one hacker in it, and if they're lucky enough to avoid them, there's just people teaming instead. And all of these problems has led to a ton of people quitting the game. Teaming? This isn't like a group game? Game. But speaking of angry fan bases, Apex Legends once had a problem so bad, it forced even the most loyal players to quit. One person was caught using hacks while live streaming, and he didn't even try oh, to Oh, team hide with fact, Jason. He every oh. day for weeks on end, and even though people reported it to Respawn, they didn't do a single thing about it. But then these issues got seriously out of control. Some of the top creators became angry and started encouraging their fan base to cheat, with one player exposing the best times to hack while the band team is offline. Now, this caused a huge argument with the devs on Twitter, who then promised they were working super hard on an anti-cheat. Meanwhile, Apex's competitor Fortnite was experiencing problems of its own. Naturally, as the most watched game on Twitch, it was the perfect target for hackers. In the early days, it started with smaller cheats like Aimbot and God Mode, but Epic quickly shut them down. They sued a 14-year-old for selling mod tools and threatened to take tons of other hackers to court. But this didn't stop people from cheating, and over the years, it evolved from Aimbot to things like flying boats and rocket spam. Some infamous hackers like CIA.gov were able to get into tournaments and even had ridiculous abilities like self-revive. He's respawning! <laughs> I'll farm you all day, kid. Now, hackers in tournaments are one thing, but when they're in some of the most hardcore games in the world, it can be devastating. And this was the case for Escape from Tarkov, an FPS which is key on survival. This is the case, not this was the case with Tarkov. Only one thing wrong there. When you load into the game, you can kill other players and steal their gear, which can be worth a ton of in-game money. But cheaters took advantage of this and would go into matches with ESP to locate... I, I think this this wipe has been the worst for cheaters so far. ...or eliminate players with the most this expensive most loot. They targeted places with the best items and traded them for rubles to become some of the richest players in the game. The final step was to then sell these on the internet, and Real some money. hackers were making thousands of dollars a month by doing this. And even the most innocent games can be ruined by cheaters. Among Us took the world by storm in 2020, becoming the number one played thing on the planet. It had millions of viewers and even the biggest creators on the internet were streaming it. For something that exploded in popularity, it was surprising how well they handled cheaters. Hackers weren't really a huge issue in the game, but some lobbies would still get trolled, sometimes by revealing who the imposters were or even by killing everyone in seconds. But the most famous hack is when Among Us was taken over by an anonymous user. They somehow got access to every single lobby in the game and spammed strange messages advertising their Discord. They literally threw threatened everyone playing, telling them to join the server or else they'd get hacked. And from taking over chat to stealing accounts, we have one of the most notorious hacks in all of gaming history. The devs of RootScape have been at war with cheaters for years and even had in an area called Botany Bay. If a hacker was caught, they'd be banished to the island and players could actually be the jury deciding their fate. Despite this, one cheater avoided capture cool. for years and in 2011, he worked with a team to commit the biggest attack ever in RuneScape. They stole over 65,000 accounts and allegedly made millions of dollars from it, which they then used to buy a house, car, and even one of the guy's degrees, before disappearing to never be seen again. And another beloved game in trouble is Minecraft, which has no anti-cheat and can be modded by anyone. While you might think it's managed to go completely unfazed by hackers, that's actually because the players are the ones in control. Servers like Hypixel and Miniplex were overrun by modders who would take over Hunger Games and Sky Wars to win every match. The server owners were forced to step in, and they literally created their own anti anti-cheat. And speaking of doing it yourself, CSGO had its own massive problem. A company called Faceit had an anti-cheat software that was 10 times better than their actual game. People were already tired of CSGO's aimbotters, so they used Faceit instead and it became so popular that in January 2022, they sold the company for $1.5 billion. And if you didn't realize just how easy it was to cheat in this game, there were countless streamers who were only caught because they did it live. To make it even more insane, CSGO added a mode called Prime, which only let people with a 
100,000 XP playing lobbies with each other. Because it was so difficult to get into, the chances of finding a hacker were pretty low. And if you didn't want to grind for XP, you could actually spend $14 to get instant access. Yeah, these guys pretty much locked an anti-cheat behind a paywall. But nothing's as devastating as dying to a hacker in Rust. The entire game revolves around grinding and putting time in as you collect loot, build a base, and protect your character. If you die, you can lose everything, and this is where the cheaters didn't hold back. They would just fly into people's bases, teleport around, and torment everyone in the server. These guys would even wait for you to go offline just so they could steal your stuff. And just like Minecraft, server admins took matters into their own hands and began to troll these cheaters while the devs were banning thousands of people in the background. And while all of these games have been able to recover, it was nothing compared to the greatest hack of all time that stopped 70 million people playing their favorite games. Back in 2011, PlayStation Network was infiltrated by Anonymous and they stole personal information from every account in the world. It was one of the biggest data breaches in history and it cost Sony $171 million in lawsuits. And this wasn't even the most frustrating part. PSN was taken down for maintenance as soon as it happened and Sony didn't tell anyone when it would be coming back. Anyone who owned a PS3 back then will remember not being able to play any online games for weeks. When the servers finally came back online, they gave out a ton of free games to everyone as an apology, along with 30 days of PS Plus and free identity theft wow. protection to anyone affected. And those were 14 games destroyed by hackers. It's been Sammy. Keep it here on T5G. That's not bad.